Welcome back to some more Rallies Per Challenge. This is part 14, and this is the part that I think a lot of you might have been waiting for if you've actually played this game. We are finally into the last class, and we basically have a series... <laughs> a series of uh, hill climb events. And let me tell you, I'm not... Again, this I'm probably going to keep the same sort of format that I did starting with part 13. But before I get to um, the rest of the gameplay, I really want to talk about uh, the, pretty much how this is going to go for the remainder of this playthrough. This is this is pretty much the point of the game that broke me because the difficulty spike is from this class compared to the rest is so monumentally large that it's just ridiculous. Basically, you have to be essentially perfect in these runs you can't make in many cases you can't even make a simple mistake and not even that you have to be going as fast as possible you have to basically know the tracks to, to the back know the tracks inside and out you have to have basically absurd knowledge of where you're driving because the difficulty increases so goddamn much that you will be tested big time in fact some of these later events, this one not so not the case, but later events, I couldn't even win because it was just that ridiculous. And after doing this so many times, over and over and over again, I was just tired. I just couldn't. I just couldn't. I just couldn't tolerate it anymore. This is one of the hugest difficulty spikes I've ever seen in any video game. Full stop. And it takes the game for being a rather fun, you know, kind of interesting, like kind of rally game to just misery. Absolute misery. It is beyond insane. And believe me, when I, before I did this run that you're seeing here, I tried all the different vehicles in the class. And I settled with this the Grand Vitara here for at least this particular one just because I was able to get such a... I was, this, with the Grand Vitara, you can easily chuck this vehicle as much as possible. But you can see just how I'm being very careful there. Just, you know, trying to make sure I don't, like, completely just cook it. But you can see from the split times there, it's... I, it's... I mean, yes, in some cases the AI does produce times that I don't think really anyone could manage. But it's just ridiculous. I... You would have... This is the sort of, and the way the handling is of this game, the way you have to throw the cars into corners. This is, this is gonna, tr this is gonna test your patience. This, this, this part of the game is just way too ridiculous, way too overboard, and it's just, it derail. In a lot of ways, it's, it's, it, it's fun to do these tracks, but it just completely derails the experience. It's just too much, and. This event in particular, I had to win overall, and you will see why at the end, I had to I had to at least make sure I won this particular one. But, oh my god. This is just something that I don't really want to have to do again. And which is why, even though it's taken me a long time to get these videos out, I'm thankful that I have at least done these, this game and finished it up, because that way I don't have to worry about going through this again. I can put the game down and never have to play it again. Yes, it really broke me that bad. And it sucks, because this it's it was this game is really good up until this point where it just it just enters absurd difficulty mode. But that's not even taking into account that you, you then have those ghost times that I'm sure are really damn hard as well. Do you win anything from them? I'm not sure, but still. This is just this is just something else. And I guess I might as well just ride it out the commentary to the rest of the park because there's not too much left in it. It's only just one one track left because this one, thankfully, is only three events. But yeah, it's like I was it's like I was been trying to say. I had been teasing for a while about just where the difficulty of this game just ramps up to ridiculous levels, and congratulations, we're finally there. Should have been here months ago, to be honest, but we're finally here nonetheless. Eh, <sighs> just... It's just this sort of thing that's just, just cr absolutely crazy. Just really is. I'm sure, and I... And believe me, I am absolutely sure that there are people who can do this. Who probably have mastered it. 
I would absolutely 100% believe it. I'm just not one of those people. And with the amount of times this was already taking me, I don't want to find out. Just, it just happens to be like that. Uh, and th this one here, this one in particular here is, was the worst, was easily the worst of the three. You have to hit these lot with some of these corners and some of these lines at such a precise way or else you're going to be going a notably slower than your than your than the AI. Not that you can see them of course cuz you can't. And this and believe me the same thing is the case in Rally Sport Challenge 2, but at least in Rally Sport Challenge 2 it's not ball bustingly hard. In fact, I'm going to be told most of the in fact I feel like Rally Sport Challenge 2's difficulty was catered so that it was more for, so that most people could actually play the game comfortably. And because the difficulty I find in that game is actually not that bad, to be honest. At least for the amount that I've played up to. I've never really played it in full, but yeah. I wasn't even close to, 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 to besting that, but it wouldn't matter because I did still get the goal, the first place finish, and of course, now you see why I needed to win this. There's an extra car for this. And it's a Saab. A Saab in at this high of class, at the unlimited class. It's a bit interesting to say the least. I believe I do use it for the next one, the Rally Cup Classic. So stay tuned for the Rally Cup Classic because it's a, it's a, going to be a going to be a longer one. And uh, we're so it's mostly just going to be footage of the gameplay itself. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out my social links down below. Check out my Twitch where I stream uh, I stream semi regularly. And thank you all, and I hope to see you on the next one.